how far can we actually climb in this one? Or more importantly, how far can we climb and can we stay there? Uh, fingers crossed that we do all right in this one. Welcome to Affinity Racing. Welcome to another GT Sport video and Daily Race C. We are at Brands Hatch in the trophy. Uh, we're going to be starting from the back once again. We had an all right race in the first attempt. Uh, if you haven't seen that, then uh, it'll already be uploaded, of course. So go check that one out uh, if you haven't already seen it. If you have done, then you will know that we um, well, we did all right, but we let ourselves down so that we don't give any spoilers away. And hopefully we can um, do all right in this one and not let ourselves down. So let's see. Uh, in the Megane once again, as I say, I think um, we'll be a little bit more conscious this time round of uh, pit stops in the sense that we don't have to stretch the tyres out as long as we uh, might have thought for a first stint. We can afford to pit that a little bit earlier uh, if it means that we'll have the advantage of track position um, or in terms of undercuts, overcuts, all that sort of stuff. That's kind of what you've got to play at Brands because it's such a difficult one uh, to overtake. So sometimes you do have to rely on the odd pit stop here and there, or a decent one, not mucking it up into the entry uh, and throwing it into the barriers as well, that would to slow you down even more, as we did in the last one. But we are indeed right at the back here, so you might have to see at the end of this lap whereabouts we're going to be at. Up the inside we go, elbows out. We've got the slightly better exit on the straight, not going to have the slipstream, we're only just going to have the slipstream. Is this guy on the right hand side going to drop out? Yes, he does. Smart move. Side. Ah, just moved across, nothing we can do about that. The problem here is I really don't want to get caught up too much. Ooh, there's one McGann go goes. Switch back at all or no? I thought he was going to go there. I thought he was going to go. Unfortunately, not for us, but fortunately for him. He just about manages to keep it together. So we'll push him along here. I don't think we're going to get past him. He moves to the right hand side. Alongside him now. Not what I want. Not what we want. Let's push him through. Let's go, let's go. Come on. wide again. Oh, oh he's going into the pits. Oh man, I thought he just slammed the brakes on but that explains. Uh, <laughs> that might explain why. Right, up to P11 then. <laughs> Almost running wide. Yeah, but I can't see what for at the moment. Nothing, I don't think. Hmm, strange. So in the last race, we've seen that we were closing the gap a little bit to P1. And we are here as well, um, but it's purely on the fact that he is defending. So we 
keep an eye. Hopefully P1 uh, and 2 keep having a bit of a scrap. Doubt a last to first uh, result would come of this, especially as I say, I'm probably out of my depth in uh, in these area lobbies. Somehow ended up here, somehow just about managing to float at the very lowest of our air ratings. But you never know, 9.4 seconds in it. If both them bin it there, we'd be past them, wouldn't we? So we can say that for the, uh, the rest of the grid as well. There we go. Oh, now that's where we mucked up in the last race. And we don't want to do the same thing again. Right, and again, conscious of the fact that we're going to lose time being behind these guys. So we may well look to pit here if we start closing the gap at the end of this lap. Which we certainly do, so yes. Unless we get past both of them here through some kind of miracle. Oh, that's pushing, that is pushing, that is pushing people off. That is no good. I don't think I want to go up against this guy in a, in a, uh, a battle on track. But the fact that we've got past one, I think, makes me want to push on just one, at least one more lap. That guy behind me is very unfortunate there. This guy is the only one that we need to watch out for a little bit here. Stuff. We get our elbows out the same way he did. He's going to go to the inside. He was looking at there. We've got to go defensive a bit, but we're all right. Much better exit. And the Frenchman can get him back, get a bit of revenge on him. There we go. Right. Cracking on then. Here going off. Can we get around in here? I think it's going to be quite unlikely. Blocks that one off. Hopefully, we can get past him from that. To the inside we go. It's a bit risky this. Yeah, we get that done. I would say. Make sure you give the space. Defend the inside. on again and I think we'll pit the end of this lap. Try and close the gap here to P5.
Shouldn't have gone in. We're going to come out right behind those two now. Maybe should have just pushed on for another lap. Definitely, I think. Let's now look at this battle that we find ourselves in. I think he was breaking to let me pass there, actually. He may well have been, yeah, gives in there. Lovely stuff, what a legend. That was probably the move that cost us the most time there. I should have just gone past him on the straight, but I was, couldn't quite work out what was happening. Uh, quick enough, at least. Keep going, keep pushing, keep pushing. Are any of these going to heal off yet or not? No. In action there. I wasn't expecting to be going for a move. It's not what I wanted to be doing. This is definitely the battles that I didn't, did not want to be involved in. <laughs> this guy here. Yeah. Oh, that'll do. That'll do it. Yes. <laughs> that will do it. Right, on to P8. On to P8. Here we go. Now the problem he's going to have in that Audi is understeer, so he's going to be taking the entrance, entry to these uh, corners a little bit slower. I would presume. Possibly breaking that a little bit early. I was a bit put off by the guy who I thought was going for a wild lunge on the radar there. It's probably going to have a bit of wheel spin as well. Desperately trying to get the power down on that thing. Into the inside, maybe. but we'll have that. Cost us a bit of time, but we've got the place. P8 then, P8. If he wants it, he's going to have to go around the outside. We've got it. now. Sailor up top there. Very good result if he manages to hold on to P1. Three laps left. Or four laps left rather.
big, big group of cars up ahead there. Three positions, all scrapping for P5. So let's see what we can do with that. Let's try and look after these fronts a little bit more. Brake balance two at the front. someone into the pits there, I wasn't expecting that. That's a very late pit stop. It's the Frenchman, who I think we might have been having a little battle with earlier. I recognise the name, right. Oh, he comes out in front of us actually, so he was in the pits, but he pitted quite a bit ahead. Starting to get into the habit of that now, changing down twice by mistake. Drop our engine out onto the floor. Right, P7 running wide again, closing the gap, closing the gap. Starting to just slide about a little bit on these tyres, struggling for grip. sound ridiculous considering we're, we're in P8 with two laps to go, but you don't realise how close we could actually be to the podium, which sounds ridiculous, but P3 is not too far up the road, and these guys are going to be scrapping quite heavy because of that as well, so... just turned in a bit too early there. Right, considering we got this high up in the last race and then we threw it away, I want to make sure that I keep this one. We've actually got the fastest lap as well, somehow. How on earth did that happen? That is crazy. On to the final lap. These guys are going to be scrapping. I think we can easily have another position out of this if we're lucky.
myself. Got P7 yet. Not quite, not quite, not quite. P8, it is. And that, I think, is a very, very solid uh, result considering we were 18th to start with. We were 16th, I think, something like that to start with. So to climb pretty much halfway up the grid from right from the back, I don't think it's too bad going. Really, really enjoyed that one. This race this week is going to be absolutely amazing. Can't wait uh, for the live stream tonight, which at the time of uploading this would have been yesterday. So hopefully you caught it. If not, go back, check it out. I'm sure there was some good races in there. Uh, if you can't find it on the channel, uh, you're either one, not looking hard enough, or I've deleted it because it might have gone horrifically wrong, but who knows. Judging by this, though, we should have a good stream, um, and I'll be looking forward to that. Plenty more races to come throughout the week, plenty more live streams, plenty more uh, content, F1 stuff as well, which I'm looking forward to uh, getting onto. So make sure you do not miss any of them. Uh, subscribe so that you do not miss any of them. And as we have a look there, nine positions we went up, so that is pretty good going. Very happy with that. Hopefully, plenty more to come. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, hit subscribe for future videos, future episodes, and more content just like this. And while you're down there, make sure you check out our description for links to our merch store to get hold of awesome t-shirts just like this one. Any orders on the merch store goes a long, long way to supporting channels just like this. I also think the t-shirts look pretty cool, so make sure you grab what you can, and I shall see you in the next episode.